I'd like to thank you for joining me this week in this series of videos where I pretend to answer your comments. First comment, okay then, these are getting more and more weird. I can accept that. When are you getting the Tang Long, if you are in fact getting it? I got it yesterday. What is the highest order cube you own? That is a 10 by 10. Also, what do you think of egg? I think egg is a terrible event because where it is like magic in the way of you don't have to look at it to solve it, it is worse because the scrambled state and the solved state are exactly the same. I have a Robo Raptor too. When did you get yours? I got Mr. Dragon Kid here uh, six years ago, about approximately. It doesn't really work because I got it for $1. There's a store called Savers, and on Mondays, everything with a certain color tag was a dollar. Now they don't do that because they want more money, but, so like, you could get some actually pretty decent stuff for one dollar. Like this, I had to go wait in line at like seven in the morning to get it for one dollar. Aren't eggs like magics? No thinking required? This is kind of true, but what I really want to reply to is the reply to this comment, which says, yeah, they only have one solution. This is actually not true. There is multiple solutions to the blue dragon here. And if you weren't just assuming stuff about my egg, you would know that. What is your PB on 2x2? Two two? I'm going to be honest here. I have no idea. I just count my official times for 2x2 two two to be my personal best. Officially, I have 234 single and 399 average. I don't, I don't solve two by two at home. If you were to make a bar, what would the bar have instead of beer? What I would sell at my bar would be helping deer pamphlets. Just, I would just sell stuff at my bar for people to help deer. Cause it's almost deer hunting season in Wisconsin and people need to save the deer. And then at the other end of the bar, just be hunting equipment for people to shoot deer. What is your PB on egg? It is 5.42 seconds, and if you followed me on Instagram, you would know that. There's a link in the description. Can your reptiles solve a cube? Also, have you seen a bearded dragon? None of my reptiles have opposable thumbs, and I saw a completely white bearded dragon on Saturday. It was quite expensive. What's your pick on for four blind on the 24th? Well, here's the thing. I think two people are going to get a success. And my mom's going to be one of them. When did you get your first sub-10 3x3 single in competition? I got it at the Mishawaka competition this spring. It was in April? Yeah, April. And the funny thing was, I mean, the organizer of that competition were like, we should race to sub-10 single. And then he judged me. Um, it wasn't my first solve of the average, but the first time he judged me that average, I got a sub-10 single while he was judging me, so I was quite happy because he didn't even get a sub-10 single until the next Mishawaka competition in September. At least I think it was that one. I could be completely wrong. Does saying the brands and names of cubes from Chinese companies count as knowing Chinese? I don't think so because I'm pretty sure all of us are saying all of the names wrong. What will you name your baby snakes? Well, if you'll come with me over there, I can show you the names of all of them. Come on, kids. Hey, okay, this one's name is Walker. It's got a pretty cool tail pattern there. This one that's hiding under the paper towel, its name is Walker. This one likes to try and escape, so I named it Walker. This is the first one that hatched, so I named it Walker. This one here, its name is Walker. This one has a pretty cool head pattern on it, so I decided to name it Walker. So this one is a little bit smaller than the rest, so I named it Walker. I hope that part was helpful for anybody that's having trouble coming up with creative names for their animals.